Hi everyone, I'm Brian, welcome to Above Board. This week we're going to be unboxing the Kickstarter pledge for Zombicide Invader, the new game that's just been released this week by Simon and Guillotine Games. I've been really excited about this, uh, it's been over a year since I pledged for it, uh, and it just arrived a few days ago. Unfortunately, at the same time, my cold arrived, so I'm trying to keep that at bay, but my voice might sound a little bit off. Anyway, everything you see here is basically everything that you could possibly get from that Kickstarter, with the exception of the extra pack of tiles, which I didn't bother to get because I figured with at least three boxes I'm going to have more than enough for that. Uh, I did, however, get an extra two sets of the deck holders because those things are pretty handy and kind of hard to come by nowadays. So let's uh, crack it open and see what we've got. All right, so let's see what we have. This is the Zombicide Invader core set, or the main game. So it looks like we have the Rules and Missions book here. Quite a, a thick book, actually. The usual standards of production in there. Beautiful artwork, very clear, concise rules. Mm. Great, and some scenarios which we won't get into here. Uh, this looks like the spawn points for the Xenos, or the Zombies, Zombie Aliens. And this is nice, this is the uh, main box that contains the, I guess, the miniatures and core components. Um, unlike past efforts, it uh, looks like it's all, all in full colour, which is quite nice. Let's have a look. Oh, great. Look at this. Yeah, these guys are falling over in transit by the looks of things, but it's okay. All right, whoops, there we go, beautiful. Okay, so you've got the dice, a pack of mini cards, the character cards, the plastic uh, bases and pegs. The pegs are really cool, I don't know if you can actually see that, but they're kind of textured and mechanical looking, which is quite nice, nice little touch. Uh, let's have a look at some of these guys. Alright, this is a, probably one of the abominations, I'm not sure how clear that's showing up there. And these are like, this is what kind of gives it that real sci-fi feel. Sentry gun and combat droid. I'm sure that's not its actual name. Feel free to correct me in the comments at the usual support and respect that is usually afforded people in YouTube comments. Uh, and the dashboards, the dashboards have undergone quite a redesign since the uh, Zombicide Black Plague days. I still have the, the basic fundamentals there with the, the slider, but this looks like a lot more robust, sturdy kind of slider and a lot easier to move across actually. I love that it's kind of like a heartbeat monitor that goes across there. Uh, starts quite low but then increases as the threat increases. So space here obviously for the main character card. Um, uh, looks like armor slots, weapon slots and inventory and slots for the pegs and skills. So yeah really nice and there's supposed to be six of those in here I believe. One, two, three, four, six, yes. Let's have a look what else we've got. Now, I'm not going to show every single mini because there are literally hundreds with this Kickstarter. I think it's 72 in this box alone, and that's without any of the Kickstarter pledges or the extra add ons. So, by the time we get through all those, we'll be here all day. And I'm sure you, those of you who are getting this would rather wait and uh, look at them in detail yourself. But I just want to say that on first inspection, the detail is actually pretty nice, I have to say. Like, I don't know if, again, if you can see that. But yeah, you've got a very nice lot of level of detail. You can see the rivets in his armor. You know, the individual bullets molded on his gun, on the unit magazine. So yeah, fantastic. All right, so let's take this first tray out and see what's underneath. Alright, so these are all our, our Xenos, 
there are uh, aliens here, which I said I'm not going to get all of them out, but I think you can probably see those in there, I hope. Um, I'm not sure if the camera glare is getting in the way of that or not. All right. And finally, the box of tiles themselves. This looks like an interior one here, science station or mid bay of some sort. Usual signs of infestation or malpractice. Nice. Nice, uh, I have to say, also nice, crisp, clean lines. Very obvious where each room begins and ends in this particular tile set here. Sorry, there's a car going past outside, maybe you hear that. Uh, and the cardboard tokens, of course. Now, I did get the plastic tokens, so these guys will probably remain unpunched. But always good to have them as backup if necessary. All right, so very nice. So this is the, as I said, the core set. And we're, we're going to go into the, we'll do, a, do the expansion next. And then the dark side, which is also another standalone game. Uh, and then we'll get into the Kickstarter extras. All right, be right back. All right, so here we are with Zombie Side Black Ops. This is the expansion for Zomb Zombie Side Invader, but it's compatible with either Invader or the Dark Side games. So let's see what's in this one. Okay, so again, the manual and rules and missions, I should say. Uh, a few extra tokens there and the tiles themselves. Okay, so you sort of see the, looks like an alien infestation there. And a good mixture of interior and exterior tiles, to give you an example. It's very Mars-like on the color palette there, which is just fantastic. I love it. Okay. Let's get these out of there. These look like uh, extra equipment and possibly zombie cards. Okay. Okay, there we go. Pop that in there. All right, so, wow, look at these. It's got this abomination here. These are looking really good. I think this is a, called a baby face abomination. I'm not sure about that one. What do you think? Baby face, yes or no? And again, some of the uh, sentry droids and cannons, which just I just love about this particular version of Zombie Side, that futuristic uh, look that kind of reminds me of Aliens, special edition anyway. And again, a great example of the level of detail they've got on these particular miniatures when you can see the individual ammo belt is, is not molded in sort of flies separately to the, the rest of the mini there. Really fantastic, even behind the gun you can see. Yep, really nice job on these minis, very crisp. I don't know whether it's just the color that they've made these particular minis, uh, with this sort of gray primer undercoat color, but the details seem to really be popping out on a lot of these. Again, I'm not sure how well that's translating to camera, and I will try to get a few close-ups of some of these later. Uh, but other than that, not, not a lot to see in here. It's like, like it says, it's an expansion, so it's basically adding more of the same to the existing set. Got some uh, more colors to choose from for your characters here. And again, another six uh, dashboards, so there's going to be no shortage of those. All right. So. Okay, so here we are with Zombie Side Dark Side. Now, during the Kickstarter, they sort of surprised everybody by releasing what is effectively Season 2 of Zombicide Invader alongside Season 1. Uh, so, as you've got Black Plague and Green Horde with the fantasy version of Zombicide, you now have Invader and Darkseid for the sci-fi version. So, a little bit of a bonus, but some people believe that that might have been an indicator that the Kickstarter wasn't going as well as they'd hoped, so they decided to throw some more options in there. Personally, 
I love it. It means one less Kickstarter I have to fund and to get all these goodies. Uh, but it might have meant we missed out on some other ideas that they had in the long term. But yeah, it is what it is. And at the end of the day, I got two great Zombie Side Invader games. So let's have a look and see what's inside. It might be a little bit of a box fart noise. Oh no, there we go. Alright, so much like with Zombie Side Invader, we have the reasonably hefty rules and missions book. Love the design of these guys. Very uh, Gene Steeler meets Alien, I think. And that guy there, pretty awesome. Okay, and not quite sure exactly what these are. Debris, it's like a, a hole or cavern or something that the aliens may come out of. I guess if they're spawning from, I think these are supposed to be the minor aliens. The miners, not miners, if you've seen Galaxy Quest. Um, and I guess they come up from under the ground, perhaps. Okay, and again, the main components box, again in full color, this time the green instead of the red to indicate it's part of the dark side version. And again, much like the previous one, everything has been jostled around. Let's see if we can get these guys cleaned out a bit into their proper place. No, there's going to go there. There we go. All right, perfect. All right, so here we go. Look at this. This guy is hideous. I love it. That kind of internal second alien mouth tongue thing it's quite spiky to hold i have to say too the the plastic that they've used this time around seems to be a harder plastic than they've used in previous versions of zombie side i don't know whether that's just the design of them or whether it was a deliberate decision because they had to have all these sort of tenderly spiky bits on them but yeah so uh, yet another sort of sentry gun tank robot mech thing and uh, yeah, some more soldiers. Again, just beautifully detailed armor. Because so we'll see um, influences from a lot of different sci fi elements, including you know, uh, Warhammer, Aliens, Space Crusade, which was part of the Warhammer sort of universe. Yeah, just you know, like we've got a chain sword sort of thing here, and something that looks very bolter pistol like again you've got the alien invasion cards and equipment cards very nice and again you've got the character cards for this particular set that gorgeous artwork we've come to expect and I think another six uh, character dashboards, which is just getting crazy now. I think I'm up to 18. And again, it's before I've even opened the uh, the other sets, the other Kickstarter offerings. And there you go, you see a swarm of aliens that are soon going to be taking over your base. Fantastic. I love the red color too, very threatening. And again, the tile sets. Now, I don't know if there's anything too different about these ones. Ah, okay. Yep, well, Dark Side makes sense, doesn't it? Obviously, a uh, more night oriented or Black Ops oriented sort of uh, conditions. So, I don't know if that will come up in the rules. Whether there were, I presume there'll be some sort of rules regarding light and darkness, but uh, yeah, we'll see what happens with those. But yeah, looking forward to getting into this one as well. So, let's move on to some of the Kickstarter extras. All right, so we're on to some of the accessories and extra components here. So I'll start with the 3D doors. So there is the box, different colors. So it looks like they've given us a total of 11, uh, five neutral doors, as are gray ones, and six colored doors for various objectives and so forth. Okay, so let's have a look. Okay, so, yeah, pretty basic, what we've seen before, um, with the, uh, I think the doors from uh, Massive Darkness, actually. So you just clip in, try and do that without breaking anything. Let's 
here we go. There's a bit hard, but all right. So you've got your door there, and then the I think the aliens just kick it down and come bursting on through. We can seal them up. So yeah, very nice. So I got eleven of those. It should hopefully be enough. I, I kind of wonder if I should have got a second box of these, but um, I'm sure if there's a great need for them, I'll go and find some at retail or online somewhere. But I'd say 11 is probably enough for any standard game. I imagine there'd be too many more doors than that. Um, right. So the deck holder set. Now, these are in the blue and yellow colours for Zombicide Invader. And in the past, I believe they've had yellow and red, I think, for the previous Zombicide games. And I've never been able to get a hold of a set, not for any reasonable price anyway. The last time they, I got to them, they were all over eBay for a ridiculous sum. Uh, so yeah, looks like they, I'm not going to assemble them, but there they are. The two different colours, and they are, as you can see, adjustable, so you can have them sleeved or unsleeved. And for those who are interested, they hold, and each one holds 190 unsleeved cards or 105 sleeved cards. So, a very decent amount. All right. Uh, and I got both sets of the, the blue and the orange dice. So, I'll just have a quick look at the blue ones. Again, just so you guys all know what dice look like, but we'll just show you each of the, the dice faces anyway, just to, to get an idea of what we're seeing here. Okay. So you've got the different pips indicating two, three, five, four, so forth. I guess that must be a, a one creature got you, and that must be a six critical hit. Excellent. Yeah, so again, really nice weight, nice design, great colors. Fantastic. And the plastic token set. Okay, so not quite the same packaging we've had in the past. So here you have the, the grey tokens. With the coloured symbols on them there. Uh, you've got the spawn points. It looks like these are probably for uh, dark side. And these are for invader. So yeah, they've got sort of a texture to them. Just sort of see that through there really nice colors and it just uh, saves a bit of wear and tear on the cardboard pieces i quite like having plastic or upgraded components for most of my games that i play regularly uh, i do find that, that cardboard does tend to wear out pretty quick it gets dog-eared or it gets you know it gets, just gets affected so over time these should be a lot more durable um, they could be prone to scratching i suppose but I don't imagine it's going to matter as much as having something bent or especially getting water on them. Not that I allow people to have drinks around my board games. But anyway. Alright. So that's those. Let's uh, start checking out some of the extra miniatures that came with the Kickstarter. I think we're going to start with these soldier and civilian extras. Alright, so we've got these soldier and civilian extras here. I'm not quite sure I don't remember what's in any of these boxes, so... It's been so long ago since I backed it, I didn't really think. Okay, so all right, well, we're going to put a bit of stuff in here. Okay. So this is uh, Brood Mother Abomination Rules, I guess. Beautiful. Some uh, cards to add to the decks, and of course, cards for the extra heroes. Here they are. It looks like this is an alien that's joined the club. That's pretty cool. Again, so just really weird and wonderful looking design. Some of this stuff reminds you of things like Dune is obvious. Um, tips of the hat to Fifth Element, Blade Runner, Aliens, uh, Back to the Future, Rick and Morty, and a host of others. All right, it looks like this just goes under here. There we go. 
Ugh. Oh, that. Oh, it goes this way, doesn't it? <laughs> That's his face. Nice. Let's get my fingers out of the way. So again, a really great level of sharp detail on these. You can see the individual textures in the, the chitinous armor there, if I'm pronouncing that right. Is it chitinous or chitinous? I'm sure someone will correct me. And another abomination of some sort here. Very tenderly, this one. A bit Cthulhu-esque. And a little bit predatory, actually, if you look at the face. Nice. And these horrible looking little things, these are these are sort of things that if I was in a science fiction horror, these are the things that would freak me out the most. The little scuttly crab, spider, cockroachy kind of things. Ugh. They all came just kind of swarming out and things games like uh Dead Space and things like that. It was never the big creatures that scared me as much, it was those little scuttly ones, face huggers and things like that. But anyway, yeah, so not too bad there. Pretty neat designs, I love that. And let's get into the civilian extras now. Let's move this aside so I don't bump those off. All right, look at this, wow. What a huge collection, look at these guys. Some winged ones here. Oh, I will tell you what those look like. Really fantastic detail though. These are the workers, I think. And they're, again, uh, in the usual way, they've made several different molds of the same warrior, so you've got a little bit of variety when you're painting or when you're seeing the models on the board. So uh, these aren't necessarily two different aliens, they're just two different poses for the same alien, which is great. See, this guy clearly has his left leg forward, and this guy clearly has his right leg forward. Different. See. All right. And again, some more scuttly, crabby look looking things. Really nice designs. And this, look at this. Oh my god. This thing looks fantastic. These big bony spines coming out of it. That reminds me of uh, something from StarCraft, really. The Ultralisks. Very cool. And yeah, almost like a Hydralisk looking thing, if you know what those are. Or well, that thing that Obi-Wan Kenobi was fighting in the end of Clone Wars. Not that that movie exists. I was just joking. There's no such thing as prequels. All right. Uh, yep, look at that. Oh, love it. Look the how well the second mouth and the guts there is molded. Fantastic. Oh, his butt. There we go. Fantastic. Tendrils, eyes, weird little sort of openings, almost like coral or crustaceans. Ugh. for these guys. Now this is definitely alien queen looking, isn't it? I mean, there's no denying the influences there. The tubes on the back, the spiny tail, the, you know, the head design. And another here. Absolutely amazing. And our character cards as well, and uh, equipment and zombie cards. Alright, and the second row underneath. All our heroes. Ah, I love some of these. These are amazing. Alright, I have to say, my favourite that they did on the Kickstarter was this tribute to the late, great Dr. Stephen Hawking, who I believe passed away during the kickstarter campaign so whether they had this in the back burner or whether they quickly threw something together i don't know but uh maybe i'm wrong with my timing maybe he died somewhat before i can't remember now exactly when he passed but they 
put this lovely little tribute to him, immortalized him in this. I'm sure he'd be very proud. Uh, but yeah, it's, I think it's, it's nice. It's a nice idea. It's sort of paying homage to not just science fiction, but also those who've contributed to the sciences over the years. Uh, yeah, this is, this is kind of an odd thing. You've got this parody of Dr. Emmett Brown from Back to the Future. He's got a little bit of a Doc Ock influence to him too as well. You can definitely see that that's where he's modeled after. Everyone thought, oh, that's great. And then they do the Rick and Morty Rick parody, which is itself a parody of Dr. Brown. So you've got a parody within a parody here, which is, I don't know, I think that's pretty funny. It's quite cool. And really, again, beautifully detailed minis. And you've also got, I believe this is, uh, yeah, the Marty and Rick. Oh, sorry, Marty and Morty. Um, models. Not that they're allowed to call them those, of course, but we will know who they've kind of based them off. Uh, and again, you've got influences to Blade Runner. Uh, what else? Fifth Element. And a few others there. Uh, I think this is a, a bit of a tribute to District 9. Yeah, fantastic. And of course, Aliens, Vasquez, I did prefer her in her, her original pose, which was her holding the weapon vertical and she was posing in the movie because it was very iconic. But people, I think they thought it was too on the nose. So they changed it to this slightly more generic pose, which I'm not such a fan of because she's one of my favorite characters in that movie. I sort of like to have seen her in, in actually a less combative state. But anyway, so there it is. I've got a couple of droids down here. Love droids. This is a definitely a homage to Claptrap from the Borderlands series. That's, that's how I see him anyway. And that looks like that robot from the Portal video game series. Right. Great. Let's press on to the next box. Okay, guys. So next we've got the Promo Xenos pack and the Dark Side Extras pack. So let's start with Dark Side Extras. I think effectively it's much like it says on the box, just some extra minis to expand your dark side game. Yep, that looks to be oh, and uh, oh, some extra scientists as well in the orange molding here. Yeah, they look pretty cool too. I like the idea of that that you've got scientists that give you special abilities that you could take along with you. And as we've seen before, these these are based on already existing molds in the in the game. There's an abomination again that I love. I think these might be new. I'm not sure. But again, definitely uh, influences from a range of science fiction elements: Aliens, Predator, uh, Warhammer, to name a few. It looks like you've got uh, some oh, 10 missions and combining Invader and Dark Side, so that's great. A little bit bent there. Yeah, great, so you can actually combine the tile sets together and make some really amazing looking adventures. Cool. All right, that's that one. And the Promos Xenos pack. Interesting, they use the word Xenos there. During the campaign, again, there was a, a call for them to call the game Xenocide rather than Zombie Side because they felt it fit better with the Xenomorph alien sort of theme that they had going. But I can understand why they wanted to stick with Zombie Side. It, you know, it's brand recognition and it's got already got a following. I guess they didn't want people feeling they'd develop some brand new game and then finding, oh, this is just a derivative of Zombie Side. It's pretty plain and obvious that it is very much part of the Zombie Side. Rule set, if not that zombie side universe. Driller Blitzes Spawn. It's these guys. More of those winged um, things. These little scuttly ones and the worker ones. Great. All right. So uh, all that's left now, I think, is the the different hero gangs. I've put you about three packs to open there, and then we're done. So let's have a look. All right, so here we have the three packs of Survivor Gangs. 
first is the Orphans Gang Survivor Pack. Let's have a look. Alright, so six heroes and their hero cards. A wizard. Now, I don't know exactly who these guys are supposed to be based on. I, I heard Goonies. Um, but I don't know. Uh, if anyone knows, by all means, please leave it in the comments below. If you know who these guys are supposed to have been based on. Maybe they're not based on anyone. Maybe they're just their own thing. But um, quite often these are sort of takeoffs of existing characters. Yeah, again, really nice detail. This guy almost looks like a bit, a bit like a Fallout Power Armor guy. Just show you that uh, little focus. Okay, the next is the Plague Gang Survivor Pack. So, five figures in this one. What I like this time is they've looks like they've included the rules for each play gang on a card rather than having the insert, which was often a pain to deal with. This will make it a bit easier to organise. Sydney. The big one. Yep, pretty cool. It's got like a kind of a Ghostbuster backpack on there. You guys can see that. I'm really sorry if these haven't been in focus or if they're blurry or the plastic's crinkly. I can never tell until I end up editing this and watching it back. Okay, and finally, the Kabuki Gang Survivor Pack. Which I particularly was looking forward to because I love Rising Sun. And these guys kind of had some uh, influences from that by the looks of things. Japanese kabuki, which is like Japanese traditional theater. The kabuki masks, which just look great. Yomosichi. Fantastic. And again, I'll just hold them up and hope that the, that will focus for you. Great. All right, so that is everything. Uh, like I said, I didn't get the tile sets. Um, I just didn't feel the need for it. I never found myself needing more tiles than they provided in the base games. Um, but certainly if that's something you, you want to pick up, I think that's going to be available at retail. So don't be too downhearted if you missed out on that. But that's it for this unboxing. Uh, I'm going to go away and tend to this cold, which I hope have managed to keep under wraps during the, the filming of this episode. Um, Again, if you like what you've seen here, please like and subscribe below. Even I hate saying that. If you're going to do it, you're going to do it because you want to, not because I ask you to. Um, but yeah, whatever you like. But come along and watch my other videos as well if you like. And if you've got any suggestions or recommends for future videos you'd like to see or styles, let me know. Uh, but anyway, thank you very much. It's good to be back. Uh, and I had a really great time unboxing this. I have to say the, the first time I got my... Green Horde stuff and my Black Plague stuff. I think I, it took me a year to finally open the last of the Kickstarter extra boxes. So for me to go diving in and open everything on one day is you know, quite a stretch zone for me. But anyway, this has been fun. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Happy gaming. Bye.